So along with Studio One version 6.5, Personas has also released two new plugins that were redesigned from the ground up with immersive audio in mind. So what I thought we would do in this video is take a look at at least one of those, which is the new version of OpenAir. Okay, so I've got the same song that we used in a previous video. Let's select our lead vocal. We'll go over to a large console view. We'll open up our browser and scoot over to the effects tab. So over here, I'm going to open up Open Air. And notice that if I expand this folder, that there's a new folder over here in our presets. That's because along with version 6.5, they've also released a new sound set that you can download from your included content. And this has the impulse responses that were created with immersive audio or Dolby Atmos mixing in mind. So we can either load a preset directly from here, or we can just drag and drop this to our lead vocal in the send section the same way we always do. Now, if I was to go ahead and press play or just solo this out and press play, I want you to take note of the amount of tracks that show up in the actual channel level meters here. A donde digas me voy. Okay, and also before we go on, one thing I also want to point out is that in addition to giving us two new plugins, all of the tools that we're used to, so for example, if I load a stock instance of Pro EQ, if I was to change the actual channel width of this track from a stereo track, which is what we're sitting at right now, uh, to maybe a 7.0, and then we were to close this and reopen this plugin, Take note of the fact that we have speaker mapping. This is extremely useful, and this can really come in handy if you're repurposing a stereo mix and you're bringing it into the immersive environment. That being said, this is something I'm gonna cover in detail in a completely separate video, because I wanna try to keep this really kind of straight to the point. Now, I'm going to change this back to stereo, and let's also go ahead and get rid of this Pro EQ. So now if we move back to our lead vocal over here and I solo this out, let's open up Open Air and notice it is now called Open Air 2. Actually, I don't know if it was already called Open Air 2, but it is completely redesigned as I mentioned. Let's go to this folder and let's load a preset. So we could load any one of these. Let's start with the very first one, which is called Assembly Room. So Studio One is now going to load that 3D or that immersive audio impulse response that was created. So now if we take a look at this, we have an image. We also have a tab over here that says IR. In some cases, you may notice that something looks a little bit different, some of these presets. But the main things I wanna focus on over here is that we have an IR tab, we have an image tab. In the IR tab, you have some options as to whether you wanna enable LFE. You have an IR mixer in this particular preset. But let's just go ahead now and play this. And I want you to take a look at what happens now with our channel returns in terms of the levels. So you can see now, instead of just having a basic stereo effects return that was happening on the two channels on the left and right, that this is now bringing in a whole load of effects returns. Now, in the case over here, I would probably want to disable the LFE. I don't necessarily want the LFE going into this. Now, we have a surround panner that is now the default new pan mode over here on this effects return. So if I double click this, we have the same surround panner that we're used to seeing if we take a look at any of these individual tracks, as long as they're routed to the beds versus being routed as objects, which we can only do with mono or stereo tracks. So we have a couple different modes that we can use here. We can use the balance adjuster. Or we can use the panning. But the main thing I want to point out over here is that this reverb, this impulse response is actually functioning in a multi-channel way. It's functioning in an immersive way. And these new impulse responses that have been included in this new version of Open Air allow us to have a truly immersive impulse response that we can use in our productions. And this works right out of the gate. So that's the main thing that I want to point out here now with Open Air. Now, in terms of the routing, you have to kind of take note of everything because even though this particular track is being sent out as an object, if you take note of what's happening with the reverb over here, 
you can see that the reverb itself is being sent out to the beds because it's being sent out the main mix. So if we were to take a look at this and just focus over here, if I deactivate this send and I solo out this lead vocal, this is going as an object. So we are going to see it in the out of the Dolby Atmos renderer. We're not going to see it in the bed. But now watch what happens when we enable this send which is open air, which is using an impulse response. Take a look at what's happening with the output because this one is routed to the main outs and this is routed to the bed. And this is this bed is in a 7.1.2 configuration. You can see this information that's happening here in this bed. You can see it even more clear if we take a look at what's coming in. You can see we have a lead vocal that's, that's selected. And then we can see what's coming in on the bed. Once again, if I deactivate this reverb send and we open up the Dolby Atmos renderer, now we only have the lead vocal coming in because that's the only thing that I have solo. So this is just something to take into consideration. And like I said, the main reason for this is that anything that we wrote from Studio One as an object, it needs to be either a mono or stereo track. So although this is really awesome that we have a built-in fully compatible impulse responses that were actually captured with immersive audio in mind with extremely large channel widths, these will always be routed directly to the beds track. So it's just something to keep in mind. But like I said, there are some pretty cool options in terms of using stereo reverbs and using some of the channel mapping options that Personas have included, which I'm gonna tackle in another video. But I think we'll leave it off at this for now. So new version of open air that has been designed with immersive mixing in mind, lots of different presets to play around with, and it's nice to see this get a little bit of a refresh. Anyways, that's it for this video. I'll catch you for more in the next. Cheers.